Hi everybody, Stuart Crouch from CFA District 23. I got some great reports from the International Women's Day Forum. We had at Benalla a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, I was deployed to the floods and unable to attend, but some great conversations, some great notes coming back to me about how we can make CFA District 23 a more inclusive environment for, for women. So let's have a look at the upcoming brigade elections and here's a challenge to everyone out there. So when we're talking about who will fill leadership positions, and I talk, talk about lieutenants positions here, not just the traditional secretary and comms officer positions that women have held, but when we're talking about lieutenants and training officers and potential captains in the future, let's reach in to our female members and see who can fulfill those roles. Another thing is about youth. We talk about it, but we don't implement it. So we, I hear excuses like that person hasn't got the experience or the skills. Well, they're not going to get the experience of skills till we give them a chance. So let's look at our youth, you know, the under 30s, the future captains, lieutenants, group officers, assistant chief officers, and maybe chiefs of the future, and uh, have a chat to them about getting them into lieutenants roles, and then mentoring and coaching them over a couple of years. Vaccination status, a big one. We all know the Chief Health Officer's rules. Uh, unless you're fully vaccinated under the law, you cannot attend uh, CFA activities. So uh, how do we make that easy to get that information into the system? Because most people have got it on their phones and they just haven't had the opportunity or they don't know how to put it in. So number one, get online, members online and do it yourself, no problems. Number two, ring up the district office or talk to one of the staff, we'll pop it in for you. Number three, if you roll up to the meeting, bring your vaccination status, we'll have our laptops and access to the systems, we'll put it in ourselves and get it over and done with. So it's all about ensuring that we have that information in and meet the requirements of the Chief Health Officer. If brigades are gonna struggle for quorums this year at their brigade elections, let's have that conversation up front. Uh, we know we're coming out of a, a bit of a COVID fog and we may need to do some work with you to ensure that you get numbers to those elections or in the uh, on a case-by-case -case basis, uh, mm -hmm. reduce the quorum for this year. As I said, people come out of the COVID fog. Hey, I'm heading off to uh, a few countries to do some humanitarian work. Paul Scragg acting in my position. I know you all know Paul and we'll give him your full support. Take care, see you in a couple of weeks.